Pro APOD includes a sensitivity analysis for both the property price and the investor's down payment. Let me show you how to create them and then how you could use them in a real life situation. First, let's open the form. Go up here. In this case, we'll start with price sensitivity. Of course, before you can do a sensitivity analysis, you're going to have to enter the financial data regarding the property. You're going to have to put in a sale price and income amount, operating expenses, and loan amount. If we don't do that, then you're going to open this form and essentially you're going to see a blank form. Down here in bold is what we've entered. We're showing a sale price of 400000 along with the corresponding returns and measures for that price. Now the idea is that we want to set up a range of prices so that we can see the corresponding returns and measures for that price. And we do that up here. So we'll go ahead and put in $2,000. In other words, we're going to step the 400000 both downward and upward in increments of $2,000 so that we can see what the returns are. So you come up here and put in 2000 Of course, you could put in any amount you wish. And hit the Tab key. Now you'll be able to see that we've lowered the price in increments of $2,000 here. And we've increased the price in increments of $2,000 here. And in each case, we have the corresponding returns. Okay, now let me show you how you could use this in a real life situation. If you're a buyer or a real estate agent representing a buyer, and suppose that the buyer is looking at this 6.75% cap rate and feels that he doesn't want to offer any more than something that would give him a let's say 7.5% cap rate. Well, in order to achieve that, the buyer would not want to offer more than $360,000. Likewise, if you're a seller or you're representing a seller and he doesn't like the 6.75% cap rate based on a $400,000 sale price and would like to see something maybe more in line of a 6% cap rate, then the seller would not want to sell for less than $446,000. So either way, whether you're a buyer or a seller, you can see how you could use this to set the price. Okay, now let's go over to the down payment sensitivity. Go up here and open it. It's the same idea. Except here we're looking at the down payment and this is what we're going to step. Based on the data we've already entered, we're showing that with the $120,000 down payment, we're going to have these returns and measures. So again, let's step it. We'll put in 2000 again and hit tab. And as you can see, the down payment has dropped in increments of $2,000. and here has increased in increments of $2,000. If 
in this case, a buyer who might not be satisfied with the 8.29% cash on cash and maybe want something more in line with a 9% cash on cash would know that he would have to put $90,000 down to achieve that. And by the same token, if a buyer would like to put more cash down, let's say 150000 he would be able to see his returns and measures and in this case would know that he's going to get a 7.86% cash on cash. Both of the reports, both for down payment sensitivity and price sensitivity, are printable and they essentially look like this. So it's a very clear, easy to understand table and makes a really good presentation. Thank you.